Braylon, just from a guy who's been here forever, how excited are you to kind of kick this thing off in SEC play at home with the top 20 matchup against two ranked teams? Yeah, I'm excited. They got a pretty good team this year, it looks like. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's why that's why we came here to play in the SEC, to, to get to do this on the weekends, to play against the best teams in the country. So we're excited for sure. Yeah, for, for both of you guys, when Missouri sweeps Tennessee, Tennessee is supposed to be one of the best teams in the country. Missouri, maybe maybe not. Does it, What does that do for you guys as players in, in terms of getting y'all's attention and, uh, you know, letting you know that, you know, this might be a better team than you expect to come in? Uh, I think it gets us all excited. I mean, just like Wimmer said, we came here to play against the best. And so when something like that happens and a hot team comes in like that, it, it gets us excited and gets us ready to go. Uh, uh, Braylon, just where's the confidence level for you guys offensively, especially, I mean, obviously a really hot start and then the, the performance you guys had at Georgia, just where's the confidence, you know, now that you're in SEC play going against these guys? Yeah, I mean, it's high. We're feeling good. We're, we're you know, we've, we've prepared for this. Coach Lee's done a good job with all of us. We're, we're yeah, we're feeling really good, ready to go. I want to talk to you about Michael Braswell. Just uh, it can't be easy to be a starter uh, one year, then you come in and get told now you're not going to be starting anymore and wait your turn. How have you been impressed with him? What have you seen him? Uh, how, how does he dealt with that through this early part of the year? Uh, really well, actually. He's handled it. He's handled it well. He's been a good teammate, and he's he's been ready behind anybody that's that's going to come out of the game. And obviously, he had his chance against Georgia, and he capitalized, and he got a chance against Charlotte, and he's he's ready to go at all times. He's handled it well. James, you've started a couple games. You've come out of the bullpen in long relief, mm -hmm. closed some games. Where are you in terms of your role on this team and just how nice is it to be making an impact after not getting to all, really at all last year? Yeah, I've tried not getting caught up in, like, roles or anything. I've just kind of gone out there whenever they call my name and try to do my job the best I can and compete to the best of my abilities. And whenever that is, then I'm fine with it. Brandon, I don't know how much scouting you've gotten to do on Missouri's pitching staff just yet, but what have you seen trends-wise and in, in the little bit of scouting you might have been able to do or get to watch? Uh, I haven't seen much, but they look to be pretty good. I've checked the box scores after they've they've done it. They seem to be pretty good, so I'm sure we'll do our research here soon and be prepared. What went into the haircut? Is there a re reason that the bus cut happened? It was just kind of an impulse decision. I don't, I've been wanting to cut it off just because I've been tired of it being long, but uh, Roman Kimball cut it one of these nights, and it was just kind of an impulse decision. Braylon, uh, Mark said at the beginning of the season, maybe even prior to that, that his attitude was changing. He was using a different approach to coaching starting like this year, and I think you know we've noticed in his demeanor in, in us with us. Um, is that a, a direct result of how you guys are playing? Is the way he's handling things, do you think that has something to do with the success here early on? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's we, we, we talk about it a lot just because we kind of have in common. We never know when it's going to be our last year here. And, you know, last year, obviously, with getting drafted, I kind of sat back and realized that I took it all for granted and, you know, I wanted to come give it another shot. And Like I said, we don't know when it's going to be our last year, so we're kind of just here to embrace it. And why stress out when you can have fun? We're playing in the SEC. It's as good as it gets, so. Just take it all in and embrace it. Braylon, what's the key to the stolen base for you? What's the what's the most important aspect of, of being able to, to to get second base? I think it's just confidence for me. You can you can be fast but not a base stealer. I think when I came in I didn't really know how to steal bases. I was fast, but I think it's more like the confidence has gotten higher for me. It's just it's just been easier for me. James, I know you mentioned not really thinking about a role, but how nice is it to come in and, and have results on back-to-back -back days, I think, probably for the first time since your surgery? Yeah, it was it was awesome. I think that's the first time in my career I've pitched back-to-back -back days, which, granted, the first one was two pitches. So I don't really know if you count that fully. But, yeah, it was awesome. And I hope to get to do that some more this year. And I guess for you, is are there times where you have to kind of remind yourself you're still 12 or 13 months out of this thing and you're still not where nowhere close to probably where you want to be well Co coach parker's mentioned that to me but that's not really the way i think i think every time i go out there i should be at my best i, I don't really like using that excuse but yeah coach parker reminds me of that sometimes thank you <laughs>